Welcome to our second tutorial about creating a cross connection. I'm going to pick up right where I left off in my previous tutorial. Let's start with a 3D sketch. Include geometry. Let's select all of these edges. And we'll get the edges around the last cylindrical segment now. Okay, we're done. Now we're going to use a spline to create a boundary for our surface. Activate the spline command. There's the first one. Right click, create. Right click, create. Our third spline and right click create another one here right click create two more right click create Last one, right click, create. Right click and done. Now I'm going to apply a smooth constraint. We'll select the spline and this edge, this spline and this edge, and we're going to do the same for all of the splines. And again, just a couple more now. The last segment. And here's our last spline. Right click and done. And we're ready to exit the sketch. And let's have a look at what we've done. I'm going to need to hide extrusions 1 and 2. Let me show you why. Let's select the boundary patch tool. If I try to select this curve or the sketch, Inventor is going to pick up the edge as well. Let's cancel out. And now we'll hide extrusions 1 and 2. Right click, visibility. OK, let's activate the boundary patch tool again. First, let's select the spline and the curve, the other spline and the other curve. And we've created a surface that's enclosed between these four boundaries. For our condition, we've only got one free option here. Let's click Apply and Done. Now let's share this sketch. Right click, Share Sketch. Activate the Boundary Patch tool again. Let's make our selections and click Apply. Our next selections Apply and let's create our last patch over here. Apply and Done. Lastly here, let's create two side surfaces. This line. This boundary patch was created using the curves from Sketch 1 and the edges of the surfaces we created previously. For conditions, we can use a free condition, G0, or a tangent condition, G1. Let's make our selection. I'm going to use a tangent condition.
Apply. Let's create the second side surface now. I selected the wrong curve here. Let me delete that. And let's get the right one. There we go. Apply. And done. Okay, looks good. Let's hide this 3D sketch now. We'll right click on 3D sketch under boundary patch, select visibility. Let's bring extrusion 1 and 2 back in. Right click, visibility. I want to show you one more thing here. Let's try creating a boundary surface at the end of this cylindrical surface. You can see that even though we've got four different segments here, the boundary patch tool treats this edge as a single continuous edge. Let's cancel out of the tool now. Next we're going to join the surfaces together using the Stitch Surface tool. This tool stitches surfaces together into either a quilt or a solid. To stitch a surface successfully, they've got to be adjacent. We're able to select surfaces from either the graphic area or the browser. Okay, and let's go get extrusions 1 and 2 as well. Here we can enter a value for the maximum tolerance. If you're working with a closed cavity, you can check this box to maintain it as a surface, or you can convert it to a solid. In our case, since we don't have a closed cavity, we're going to end up with a single surface. We're ready to click Apply. And done. Now let's convert it to a solid. We'll activate the Thicken Offset tool. If the Face option is selected, you're able to select individual faces. If you select Quilt, you'll be able to pick up the entire part. Below, we can specify the distance value as well as the direction of the thickening. For this example, let's use the Face option and click OK. As a result, we've got one solid body and nine surface bodies. Surface 9 is the only one that's currently visible. Let's hide it. Visibility. Here we've got the individual surfaces that were used to create Surface 9. And this concludes our second tutorial about creating a cross connection.